वेलकम टू ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन प्लेलिस्ट आई प्रोफेसर रितेश धोलकिया इज गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डब्ल्यू डी एम टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस सेशन सो वॉट इज डब्ल्यू डी एम टेक्नोलॉजी डब्ल्यू डी एम इज वेवलेंट डिविजन मल्टीप्लेक्सिंग टेक्नोलॉजी सो दिस इज वेरी एसेंशियल टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज दर इन ऑप्टिकल फाइबर कम्युनिकेशन एंड बाय हैविंग दिस वी कैन हैव ब्रॉडबैंड कम्युनिकेशन विथ लार्जर बैंडविड so let us have this session based on these outlines so see in this session first i'll be going to explain you basics of wdm after that we will see basic architecture which is there with wdm and then after i'll explain you bidirectional wdm architecture and after that we will see major components of wdm network and then after i'll show you some technologies which is available with wdm and at the end we will see important features of wdm network so let us begin this session with basics of wdm now see wdm is what it is wavelength division multiplexing so here multiplexing that is done based on wavelength and here we have optical fiber so network is based on optical fiber and in that we send light signal so here light signal is getting multiplexed with respect to wavelength in wdm network so wdm is used to increase capacity of single standard fiber if you observe single standard fiber then that single standard fiber can operate with some modes right but when you work out with wdm network in that case we can assign as many channels as possible to given fiber so that we can increase data rate of single fiber as well as we can provide more secured connection and if we utilize optical cable with its maximum efficiency then maximum data rate data rate can be transferred from transmitter to receiver here number of light sources are used with different wavelength so you will be finding like there are multiple transmitter and receiver and they are having different wavelength and based on wavelength we assign channels so using multiplexer we combine all those wavelengths and we send it over a single fiber at receiver side there will be demultiplexer that will separate different wavelength and it will give it to different receivers so in wdm network you will be finding we are deal with to multiplex multiple channels with respect to wavelength that's why it is referred as wavelength division multiplexing and transmitters are sending signal with different wavelength we will be combine that by having multiplexer and at receiver side we demultiplex that and we just give it to assigned receiver so let us try to understand that by basic architecture so here we can see there are multiple terminals so t1 t2 up to tn terminals are there and that is assigned with different wavelength you can see lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n and that is what we are combining by having multiplexer so this multiplexer will combine this different signals with different wavelength and that we give it to fiber so on this fiber one can see lambda 1 lambda 2 up to lambda n number of wavelengths are there and that is been forwarded by different transmitter and at receiver side before we give it to receiver there has to have demultiplexer which will separate all those wavelength and those wavelength will be given to assigned receiver that is r1 r2 up to rn so ultimately in wdm architecture we are increasing capacity of this fiber by using this fiber with different wavelengths right so multiple signals from multiple transmitter that we can forward it to multiple receiver and here we are increasing data rate by having wavelength division now let us have one more architecture that is regarding bidirectional wdm architecture so in that you can see transmitter and receiver that is there at both of the side right so previously we have seen transmitter 
and receiver that was there in one direction only like over this side there was transmitter and over this side there was receiver but in bidirectional WDM architecture you can see at both of the side there are transmitter and receiver so here transmitter is assigned with some wavelength and at both of the side right and here we have multiplexer and demultiplexer at both of the side you can see so here lambda 1 and lambda 2 that is getting multiplexed and over here lambda 3 and lambda 4 that is getting multiplexed right and when you connect that with fiber you can see this lambda 3 and lambda 4 that will come over here and here demultiplexing of lambda 3 and lambda 4 that is happening and over here demultiplexing of lambda 1 and lambda 2 is happening so in bidirectional WDM architecture we have mux demux at all side so that we can multiplex as well as we can demultiplex channels so this is what about bidirectional WDM architecture where signal can be transmitted from both of the side while in case of only simple WDM architecture we can send signal from one direction only now let us have components which is there with WDM so there are three key components which is there with WDM network one is optical line terminals that is even referred as OLT it is to connect multiple terminals to optical fiber as well as we connect this to multiplexer even so optical line terminals that is been utilized to have a connection of multiple terminals to optical fiber and this is optical head drop multiplexer I have made separate session based on optical head drop multiplexer you can go through my playlist of optical communication where I have discussed four different optical head drop multiplexer so I think you should see that so that you can easily understand complete detail regarding optical head drop multiplexer where we use optical head drop multiplexer to add and drop wavelength in between network and that will increase capacity of WDM network and third major component that is optical cross connect see this optical cross connect that is providing electronic switching of component and by having electronic switching of component we can have routing algorithm so optical cross connect that is been utilized for electronic switching and that will gives you routing algorithm so that we can increase capacity of network now let us see the technologies which is available in WDM network so one technology that is there with WDM network that is thin film filter now see in this thin film filter we filter wavelength by using thin film and at the end we are dealing with to combine multiple wavelengths in a single fiber and we need to separate out all those wavelengths so that separation and combination of wavelength on single fiber is been done by having thin film so this is very essential technology second is fused fiber coupler in that we couple multiple wavelength by using fused fiber so here fused fiber even we can utilize it to have coupling of multiple signals from one fiber to other fiber third is arrayed waveguide grating over here even our agenda is same we are dealing with to combine wavelength and we are dealing with to separate out wavelength for effective communication between transmitter and receiver and that we can do it by having arrayed waveguide grating and one more technology that is interleaver technology which is utilized it to combine wavelength by using interleaver as well as we can separate out wavelength so these are the very essential technologies which is there in WDM network now let us see the important key features which is there with WDM network so one important feature is wavelength reuse see we can reuse wavelength in WDM network why the reason is by having proper routing algorithm we can have effective use of wavelength so on a single fiber we cannot use that wavelength for multiple channels but 
as if you have multiple connection of fiber in that case reuse is possible by having routing algorithm so that will increase capacity of channel next is wavelength conversion so that is even very important feature sometime if wavelength is not available then for secure connection we need to have conversion of wavelength in between network so by having wavelength conversion we can increase capacity we can provide more secure connections as well as by having wavelength conversion we can increase data rate even now one more feature that is transparency see before we establish data transmission we provide data secure connection and we do that with assigned bandwidth so here there is transparency in wdm network and nowadays probably everybody knows like different people are using internet connection at their home and at my home even right now i am having 100 mbps internet connection and that gives proper data transparency with secured connection right see circuit switching that is even very key feature and that is to provide routing in between transmitter to receiver so circuit switching that is used to have routing from transmitter to receiver and last feature that is survivability and survivability explains you identification of secure connection without having connection break in between transmitter and receiver so when you assign any connection in between transmitter and receiver that should be having secure connection it should survive there should not be any break and that is a very important feature that is there with wdm network so i hope that you have understood this session thank you so much for watching this video you can give your valuable suggestions definitely based on it in future i'll make videos which will solve your queries thank you so much for watching this video